Jack, uh, what was your takeaway from Saturday? Well, how'd, how'd you leave feeling, and, and now that you turn the page to, to this week, what kind of summarize that for us? Well, it was obviously really disappointing uh, as a team, you know, getting beat 27 nothing, and then also as an offense, not being able to, you know, put any points on the board. You're never going to win games doing that. And so I think it was a gut check to us. You know, we had such a positive two weeks before, put up a lot of points. I mean, I think we punted once the last two games prior to this. So we really weren't getting stopped. And um, it was, yeah, a, a reality check to, you know, you can't just waltz in somewhere and think you're going to put up 40 points a game. So, I mean, we, we're going to have some, there's some conversations to be had this week. And you, you got to look in the mirror and think that we prepare the same as we did the week before. You know, it's easy to get jazzed up for a big game at home and virtual rival. And then, you know, we, you, you got to take that preparation week to week. And because, like she was just saying, every team in this league is capable of winning games. They're all very talented, all have really good players. So um, you got to just have that same preparation regardless of uh, the opponent you're facing. So I think it's, it was a good challenge. And I think um, ultimately it'll help us moving forward to, to show we got to prepare better. What do you think the offense can do differently to, to have a better performance uh, Saturday? Um, I think we just need a, a finish off drives. If you really look at that game, we, we drove the ball pretty well for the most part. Only had a couple, maybe three and outs. I don't, I'm not really sure on that stat, but we drove the ball well. We just uh, had that unfortunate turnover to start the game, which kind of um, put us down a, a, a bad track. But even after that, drove and then, you know, unfortunate missed field goal. And then uh, stalled out in the red zone twice, went 0 and 2. So it really just comes down to finishing drives because I thought we drove the ball uh, pretty well, but um, it doesn't matter if you can't end up with points on the board. So, um, how, how does UND need to step up the running game if, if when Gavin's not available? Yeah, we've got really talented backs. You know, even you know, Gavin's had an excellent year, uh, but I mean Isaiah and uh, Skokes are both very talented. So. We, you know, just continuing to feed them and, and get them uh, more confident in the running game because they're both very talented and they can take us as far as we need to go. So if he, you know, he, if he's out this week, we're going to rely on those two guys and, and we're confident as a group. We know what they can do and they've shown that for uh, years now and, um, and they've made very explosive plays. So if, if Gavin's out, we're, we're just fine with those two guys. Staying with the run game, how much do, does this wide receiver group pride itself on being involved in, in the run game for UND? Yeah, absolutely. I know since I've been here, I think this year we really, um, more so than just the coaches saying, I think us as a unit have really pride ourselves on blocking really well for the running backs. And, and we see screen plays also kind of as an extension of the run game. And so, yeah, just trying to free your teammates up. And I know uh, we take a lot of pride in that. And it's something we've really put an emphasis on um, this season, especially just trying to be the most physical team on the perimeter and um, could just continue to help our backs and then on screens, other receivers uh, get out in space because we got some really talented guys that can make people miss. So if we can get two receivers out on two DBs and leave a safety or someone else one on one with a running back or receiver, uh, we know we're going to be in good shape. Can you explain? You talked about wanting to finish drives. How does that happen? I mean, to the untrained eye, obviously the red zone is different. But So how do you finish drives? Yeah, I think it just comes down to having that confidence. You know, we stalled out uh, early and then had turnovers. I feel like we kind of just got down on ourselves, and and you just can't have that. You got to go into every drive expecting to put points on the board, and it really just comes down to a belief. And you got to execute. You got to be really clean because there's less room down there, and defenses tighten up. So you got to be really uh, clean in execution. And then ultimately, I think it comes down to a confidence belief that this drive will end in points and and just preaching that to the quarterbacks, receivers, O-line, and then uh, just really finishing off the, the drive.